I'd like to talk about four key concepts from the first lecture. They're very important for the rest of the quarter for s understanding how to use sedimentology and stratigraphy for interpreting rocks and predicting what will happen with erosion and sediment transport. The four principles are the principle of uniformitarianism, principle of original horizontality, the idea that in sedimentary rocks, younger rocks are deposited on top of older rocks, and then the fourth one's a little more involved and we call it Walther's Law. So I'll start with the principle of uh, uniformitarianism. The basic idea there is that if you can observe a process in a modern environment that creates a specific structure, when you see that structure in the rocks, you can infer that the process that created them is like that that you see in a modern setting. So for example, currents flowing can, under certain conditions, create ripples in the sand. So if you see the remnants of those ripples preserved in a rock, you can infer that the current and flow conditions are similar to those that you can measure in the lab or observe in a modern river today. What that means is that we can actually look at features in the rock and interpret which processes form those and understand the environment and the, the key parts in shaping the rocks that we see in the past. So the principle of uniformitarianism implies that uniform processes create uniform structures through time. The second two um, concepts are, uh, in some sense, almost trivial to think about. The first is that most sedimentary layers are originally deposited close to horizontally. And that's because when sediment is transported um, on a slope, it tends to be deposited temporarily and then erode again. When it gets to a low, flat area, it tends to remain deposited. So if we draw uh, a surface, a cross section here, might have a river flowing downhill. And when the slope slows down, the um, flow tends to cause sediment to be, be deposited and you end up with uh, about horizontal uh, layers of sediment. So obviously a lot of layers that we see in, in rocks are not horizontal, and that implies that there was faulting or folding to disrupt them. So the basic idea is you can reconstruct some of the tectonic events by assuming that the layers were originally horizontal. This also leads to something else that's uh, trivially obvious, but actually a very important concept for interpreting Earth history, and that is that the older rocks are underneath the younger rocks. The basic idea is that you have to have uh, uh, something for the young rocks to be uh, deposited on. So this gives a sense of relative time for Earth history, and um, you, the characteristics of the old rocks in those environments occurred first at this location, followed by the younger rocks.